Dinosaur Eggs for Breakfast, William Hovey Smith, 2015. I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, I also cook, and I'm also an exploration geologist. So a trip to the Jingzhou Geological Museum in Henan Province, China, gave me some material. This is Hobie Smith, the Backyard Sportsman, and we're having dinosaur eggs for breakfast. Oh, you think not? Well, take a look at what I've got and see if I can change your mind. Well, this is a Chinese geologist on camel, and he is equipped with the tools of the trade that I've also used, like a brunt and compass, slide rule, and a cut rock hammer. And here is the Geological Museum in Jingzhou, China, amid a forest of huge dinosaurs. I mean, these things stretch up to the second floor, and they are among the world's largest. And here are some of the actual fossils that were recovered from digs. And here is another picture of the dinosaur nest with an array of eggs in a circular fashion. Here, some more eggs, as well as a recreation of a hatchling coming out of an egg. And he's out on all two feet right now. And here is another one. And this is Triceratops, if I'm not seriously mistaken, emerging from his egg out of the geological section. And here are some bones actually contained from an embryo in an egg. Now, dinosaurs started off big in the Triassic, and this is one of them. Now, the Triassic dinosaurs gave way to sea versions such as the ichthyosaurs, as well as flying versions later during the Cretaceous. These are small, lightweight dinosaurs and actually had feathers. In short, these are birds. Yeah. Now, there were flying reptiles, too, some of which were quite huge. But these little fellows actually had feathers like our modern birds and were diversified like terns, as well as species like the modern wild turkey, which I hunt, and here we see one I took last year with young blunderbuss. And this is a cackler, the smallest species of Canadian geese, as well as a speckle-bellied goose that I took in Louisiana. Now these fowl come in various sizes, and here is the largest modern one. This is the ostrich from Africa, which I shot. And here he is plucked, and yeah, 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 we ate that thing. Eggs are an excellent source of protein and needed fats. So, uh, eggs consumed in moderate quantities are good and should be a part of everybody's diet. So, boy, don't let this turn you off on eating eggs. Uh, they are a valuable and very nutritious product. But now... This is Hobie Smith, reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. I was invited to China to participate in the Third World Emerging Industry Summit, and there I presented a paper, Finding the Creatives Within Your Corporation or Country. Now, also while there, I introduced my new book, Ideas for New Businesses, and how you can start your own million or maybe billion dollar business, and here is a blurb about it. Now, in forthcoming decades, I am going to be introducing more in the profit series of business books. Among my outdoor books are extreme muzzleloading, as well as numerous others having to do with crossbows, bow fishing, and other things. For more info on my books, blogs, and more than 400 videos, go to my website, www.hoviesmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye, and God bless.